All right, welcome back to Thea the Awakening. So I was doing some looking off camera, and oh wow, guess what I discovered? Um, for some reason beyond comprehension, I'd accidentally given my craft tool to Lubomira, the crafter. Incredible. Incredible. And I noticed that because when I was on production, I was like, eight and seven, eight and seven, wait a minute. If she's got the plus three crafting, then I should move it over to her so she gets plus ten. And then that's when I realized, wait, what? Anyway, wowza, that is terrible. Oh my, oh man. So yeah, moving that to her. Uh, now she has 11 craft. And uh, now that well should be getting done much, much quicker. Oh, I'm so annoyed. That is embarrassing and utterly annoying. Like, oh my goodness. Well, anyway, I did make a decision in the meantime. And I did really want to craft and get some item, and I've decided on one-handed swords. And the reason for that is because I have the mo it takes the most ver different variety of ingredients, and I have the most ver of these kinds of ingredients. I have uh, steel, so I want something that can use steel. I have lots of amber, and I'll have topaz when I get back. Uh, I have bones, um, a little bit of leather, and, you know, the wood, obviously. I can always use wood. Uh, so even though it's not a very inspiring choice... I just feel like I'm going to be able to get the most research out of making one-handed swords, which will then let me, you know, open, unlock these other uh, items that I also want to get. I was really tempted with light armors because I got a lot of string, but it's just normal string, you know? Uh, the staves, you know, all I have really is steel for that, and, mm, you know, I'd only be able to make a couple staves. And clubs are fine, except that then I don't have anything to use my amber on. I mean, this wouldn't be a, this wouldn't be a bad way to go. Um, you know, yeah, I could go. I could see myself going clubs. I could do this. Maybe we should. Maybe we should because we can use our um, am we can use our amber at least to craft up just cheap clothing, and you know, deconstruct it later or something. But. Uh, yeah, so either swords or clubs. I don't know. You make the vote right now, and then I'm going to make a decision retroactively in the past that won't reflect your wishes whatsoever. Um, honestly, swords are better for survivability. We're going to do swords. I really want to do clubs, but we're going to do swords. So, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that, those of you who voted for clubs. So yeah, looking over here at our recipes, you know, we can make we make we can make some fine, fine swords. Uh, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to do it with wood. So yep, there's our sword there, ten six, or we could try you know imbuing it with amber, which would be nine seven and make it a lot lighter. I am tempted to actually do that. It again makes the sword lighter. And, you know, Moonstone would be sweet. Like, look at this. The Perfectus. Magic 2. Ooh, my. Yeah. Can make two of those. You know what I'm saying? Um, the thing with that... What happens if I use this? 12% chance. Thing is, is Topaz... It's good, but Topaz really... It's on a tier with steel more than it is with uh, with moonstone. So I, I kind of want to hang on to the moonstone. I could also just do a double moonstone here. Yeah. We're, we're going to wait. Anyway, I've done this before. I, I like making um, steel swords with topaz. So this will be a good introduction for our guys. And we're going to just do it with wood. So yeah, only a 5% chance of getting a good quality sword, but it's okay. It's okay. This will be a good use for our steel. We'll still be able to make two more of these. Confirm. Oh, we're out of topaz. Okay, we'll, we'll be able to make two of them. And construction, we're going to get that in four turns. And versus five, so yeah, we'll keep it on that. And then we'll move her off when we can. Okay, and here we are. We just finished looking at the tree. It's time to take a turn. Oh, and here come the spideys. <gasps> a child falls gravely ill. 
let us leave it in the hands of the gods. Unfortunately, that's all we can do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some of these events are like bonus added on events, and I don't feel like they're fleshed out quite as much as the narrated ones, because like the narrated ones, they would at least give you some explanation of the outcome, whereas there it was just like, leave it in the hands of the gods. Boop. Plus 15 uh, health bonus. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm, ranged damage. That's interesting. Okay. Attractiveness, speech, and health. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out... Okay, we're going to have to do this manually. I'm afraid. Hmm. There really shouldn't be any issue here. Hmm, look at that. I wonder if we can counter tactic. Nope. All right, here we go. Oh, got him. Attacking in the entirely wrong direction. And we lost all of our best sick brewers. I guess he's okay. I don't know where that spear one is. One of them has a attack first. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. Putting you next. And you. And now we should be fine. Oh, look at that. Okay. We've got it, though. Nasty spiders. Uh oh, who's running out of food? You guys. Okay. Um, noted. Maybe what we'll do next. Two, four. That's going to take up all of our movement. That's okay. Uh, let's do. I think we can do tactic. Player's turn. Just stick you in first. It may look like he doesn't do a lot of damage, but remember, the poison counts as a plus one, or is bonus damage, so he does eight damage. So, he is my heaviest hitter of the lot. And... I'm actually going to boost him. Oop, that's shield. I want support ally. Watch, they're going to confuse him. Nope. Okay. He's going to be fine. Hmm. Interesting. Well. We don't have any more. Yeah, we do. That would be 12. And he needs four more. There you go. Okay.
Easy peasy. Take that young den young dead slime. How's that shield look? Three five, three five, but this one's lighter off. Oh, they're the same. Three five, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Three four, you can take that one then. Okay. There we go. And unfortunately, out of movement. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Okay, we already checked that out. Ooh, we got a straw. Alright, we checked this. Out. Yeah. And our sword is waiting to be worked on. Okay, this is down to three now. If I take her off, five turns. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You are going to work on that. You're not going to get it close to done, but before she completes the well. That's all fine and dandy. Okay. An unusually big and strange looking black rooster was seen perusing your village barn. You suspect this may be a Cropsy, a domesticated field demon who can bring great fortune to its host. But beware, if it deems you to be a bad farmer, it may instead damage your crops or play nasty tricks. Well, again, the blue text compels me. The Cropsy seems happy with your work, and so your people bring in more crops from the fields and your gardens give more fruit. Great. And this we can eat. This I want to bake. This we can eat. Okay. I do need to get these turned into food, though, because it's a good idea to have these bonuses on your villagers, especially when you only have, like, three, because the challenges that might come can potentially really, really wreck you. Oh, boy. Well, we're out here, so I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah, we'll do it, and then we'll camp, and... Again, I'm not going to auto-resolve, because I don't trust it. We're going to camp, and we're going to grab those mushrooms. Okay, can we confuse it? No, not really. Hmm. That is a lot of damage. Eight, three, and that's eleven. Either one of these guys will get killed in two turns, so it's going to be you, Chabor. And you do seventeen. Yeah, I'll put you next. The uh, sturdiness here also means that he takes, he heals damage that he does. So he does seventeen damage, and if he does damage, he'll get two hit points back. Uh, ten. Ooh. Alright, well, we're gonna have to put you in to soak up the hit. Okay, that one's confused. That's fine. Hmm, I'm gonna just put you in, actually. Oh, look at that. Yeah, whatever. Nice. Well, I guess he could only attack that direction, but... Still, it's nice when a plan comes together. Okay, we ought to be able to auto-resolve these and be fine. Okay, one left. Park it. Gather... If we can get to 180... Oh, yeah. In fact, we can get to... Well, after that, we'd need a lot more, but... Hmm? Mm, whatever. Just leave it that way. And just so we don't get, in a, get an alert saying we have unused 
and villagers. We'll put them on wood. Right. We'd have to get to what? What's three times nine? Uh, I never can remember my math tables. And for whatever reason, I can't add. It's 27. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's just 3 minus 3 times 10, 27. Alright. This is what happens when you don't grow up with Common Core kids. I know people like to hate on Common Core, but actually, the math part of it, to me, makes a lot of sense for how I do math. It's a lot easier to remember that 3 times 9 equals 3 times 10 minus 3 than it is to try to memorize, like, literally 3 times 9. Alright. That's my political spiel for the day. You're welcome. Anyway, we're fine over here. Hmm, fruit. Good. Excellent. There, that took care of our... That should have taken care of our food issue. Alright, spider's nest. Sickness, get brewing, auto resolve. Booyah. And we'll do this one, and I'm just going to leave them out roaming. Get brewing, auto resolve. Booyah. And distraction and folklore. Sturdiness and armor. So again. The sturdiness and armor I'm going to give to him. Actually, the folklore isn't... Aren't you my folklore guy? One of you guys is. Who's got my massive amount of folklore? You do. Yeah, you know what? I'll switch you over to that. And I'll give you that. Just... There you go. And meanwhile, back at the base. We can switch this over now. Doing a little min-maxing. Oh, that takes two. Yeah, I should have known. Alright, there we go. And again, I think it's the wood that we want to keep gathering in, because we're using it for catalysts and such. Well, I don't know, though. 21 versus 30... Yeah... We'll see. But when we start cooking, then, you know... Um, when we start cooking, we're going to be having more food than we will wood. So, yeah, I think that's the right choice. One, two, three. Four. Go here. All right, anything... Oh, we already... Did we use up... Oh, we used up all our movement. That's fine. That's fine. And we completed our well. And now we're going to work on our swords. Except, actually... Let's go ahead and... Some Lexo. That will use up all our fruit. That's fine. Got a lot of seaweed. There we go. Pity. And with some of our other seaweed. There we go. Now, because night is coming... I think we're going to do that. It's not worth it for one extra turn of hurriedness. Let's work on the pulpity. Yeah. Alright, here we go. 
Who is low on food? You guys still, huh? Oh my goodness, I thought... Oh wow, okay. We are really out of food. This is a problem. Okay. Oh boy. Yes. Okay, good. That helps. That is not good. Okay, we may be starving for a bit. Starving is not the end of the world. And in fact, if you play on uh, the harder difficulties, it's kind of a fact of life. Like, it's almost impossible to get anywhere with your village in the beginning without starving from time to time. So, it's not something I ain't used to. Let's see how... Oh, look at this. We already got a research point. What are we going to use it on? Again, I think I'm going to think about it off camera. And we aren't in a position where we need to make an immediate decision, I think. So, let's take a turn. What did we get out of our... Ooh, bird meat. That's nice. Oh, and uh, speaking of which... Village overview... This is our crummy well, so we'll just demolish it since it doesn't do anything for us. Only one well bonus applies, unlike the pasture, which can stack. Okay. Alright, we're going to start to starve, but we got to get going. I think we're going to pass the cosmic tree and just get home. But that's our goal. We want to get home. Okay. Do not eat that. Go ahead and start eating that. Do not eat our pulpity. In fact, instead... Let's make regular Bigos first. That I don't mind eating up in my village. Okay. Two turns before we get our first sword. All right, let's get our guys home, and then we'll call this an episode. Uh-oh. And now starvation begins. Run, guys. Uh-oh. A falling star shoots down the night sky as if to guide you. Let's see where it leads. A small chasm where you discover a giant spider nest. The spider saw your approach as well. To arms! I think we can do it. Even though we're going to have no bonuses to our stats because we are out of food. Alright. Let's put in our bogu fall. Okay. Can handle that. Let's put in Prisbul. That's his name. Prisbul. That's how you pronounce that. 
Oh, sneaky. To can play at that game. However, I don't think I need to. Here we go. I hope we find some food. Got him. All right, the spider nest is no more and you see the fallen star shine upon you with Zoria's grace. All right. Backstab in armor. Okay, I'll take it. Rejoice and leave this place. Oh, we got a blessed dexterity. The blesses are just temporary uh, bonuses. They expire after a certain amount of turns, which is what I th think the uh, number in the bless means. I'll go ahead and give that to you. Like right now, we just need to get going. Uh, the exotic fruit takes so much effort to gather, I don't know that I want to... I guess we could... Let's try. 150, we can do it. There we go. So we'll get one thing of exotic fruit. I don't know if it's going to matter. I think we're going to eat. We have eight guys. I think, I think we're just bumping our turn by one. So, don't think it's going to help. There we go. Falling star again, huh? Let's see where it leads us. A spider nest. Alright, let's begin the combat. Look, see, we're taking damage from starving now. Okay. Twenty-four. Okay. Clever, don't you? I got news for you. That news is you are not. All right. Hold my beer and watch this. You still think you're so clever, don't you? Again. Watch that. Okay. And move you to the front. And have you just kill that guy. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Rejoice and leave this place. 
Alright, guys. Manage your supplies. Okay, you're eating again. Good. Up you go. Again, equip. One shielding on that thing. You get two armor from that one, huh? I guess you're better off with the armor. Pr perfectly honest with you. You can have the mask. Yeah, I'm not thinking too hard on that one, because... We just need to get home. We don't need to... We don't need to dilly-dally like this. Go on up here. Again. Let's gather supplies. 110. For this, we need to get to 180, but I don't think we can do it. No. For this, we need to get to 220. Perfect. Alright. We're going to have boatloads of grain. But that will definitely take care of our eating situation. We got two of these already, huh? Interesting. How did that happen? Huh. Okay. I wasn't paying attention is what happened. Okay, anyway, so this one is just very powerful. And this one gives a bonus to intelligence. Any of these are fine. Don't think we need to concentrate too much on it. I'll keep you with the hammer because that can be useful. Alright. And you guys are good for now, I think. Yeah, look at that. Keep gathering that wood. Let's see, manage our supplies. Nuts, grain. Yeah, you, you can eat this. I don't mind. Yeah. The other stuff I just want to craft with. Oh, wow. And they got a good bonus. Okay, they're going to be good. Even though there's three of them, they're going to be pretty powerful when uh, something comes along. Oh, and look. Here it comes. It's just a one rank, though. Alright, guys. To the village. Alright, drop off the topaz. Monster bone. Leather. We're going to keep this on us. Oh, wow, we got tons of silk. Okay. Alright, and when we come back, we're going to switch up our weapons. I'm um, going to get some more crafting on the way. Going to take some food, figure out where we want to go next on our adventures. Uh, well, I know where we want to go next. We want to go back down to the Cosmic Tree and take care of that, if possible. Maybe visit the uh, Icy Princess. Uh, could try gathering some wicker. Uh, if we feel gutsy, we might go for the gold. I mean, there's really nothing gutsy about it. It's just um, the wicker wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be bad because I need more gathering power, and I just don't have it right now. So. We're set up good with fighters, but that's about it. And, uh, yeah, anyway, that's where we're going to end the episode for now In the as night sets in. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.